Hello, and welcome to Don't Just Sit There, Do Something for climate news, science, and easy ways that you can make a difference in the fight against climate change. I'm Joylette Portlock. Let's talk this time about coal. Coal, pump it up, pump it up, and pain. Keep it going, ruins the climate, makes acid rain. What? Here in the U.S., we still get about 40% of our electricity from burning coal. Coal not only puts more climate pollution into the air when it's burned than any other fossil fuel. Toxic contamination in the coal also creates many other environmental problems. The world scientists agree that climate pollution from burning fossil fuels, oil, coal, and natural gas, is the reason our planet is warming. Sea levels are rising, and extreme weather events like floods, droughts, and heat waves are becoming more common. I guess. I just don't want my bills to go up. Coal is only cheap because the damage it causes to our climate, our air, our water, and our health is not built into the cost. For instance, the mercury people worry about in our fish, that mercury comes mostly from burning coal. To say nothing of the hundreds of giant toxic ponds across the country filled with heavy metals and other coal byproducts. Los Angeles recently made news by declaring that by 2025 it will be the first major U.S. city to be free of coal-generated electricity. And overall, U.S. use of coal has declined in recent years. However, largely because of China and India, worldwide use of coal is on the rise. Climate pollution can stay in the air for centuries. If we in the U.S. want to have any credibility in convincing other countries to change, we are going to have to take bigger steps to clean up our own act. But coal mining built this nation. And where would we be without District 12? Also, clean coal is super green. That's what the billboards told me anyway. People say clean coal to make you believe that coal is fine environmentally. It only seems fine because we've been burning coal for a while and we're used to the idea. We've made real progress reducing some pollution from burning coal but coal pollution still kills thousands of people every year. The coal industry has cut thousands of American jobs in recent years as electricity from natural gas has become cheaper. The industry isn't well known for how well it treats its workers either, though many people in coal country can reasonably make the argument that having a job is better than not. So basically, the situation with coal is a hot mess. Burning coal is literally a hot mess. And when it comes to climate pollution, which is completely unregulated in the US, coal is every bit as dangerous as it ever was. What about if we were to trap the climate pollution somehow like we do with some of the other pollutants and then put it somewhere where it couldn't get into the air? Does that sound stupid? That's called carbon capture and sequestration. And there's research into how to do it, but the technology is expensive and it could take decades to build the capacity we need. Meanwhile, the planet is still getting hotter. It sounds like the best way to sequester the carbon is to keep it in the coal. If you want to make sure that burning coal becomes an unnecessary evil sooner rather than later, don't just sit there do something. For instance, right now you can buy electricity from renewable sources like solar and wind. Click the link below to get started and get off coal for good. But that's going to cost me more, isn't it? In many places, green power costs a little more, but in some it can actually be cheaper. You can also start smaller by just reducing the amount of energy you use at home. Clothes dryers are energy hogs, so dry your clothes with a solar powered dryer either on a line or on drying racks indoors. Even air drying one load a week will save energy and money. Secondly, to clean up our national energy supply, we can't count on a paralyzed Congress. The Environmental Protection Agency needs to finalize the standards proposed in 2012 for new power plants and move forward on creating climate pollution standards for our old, dirty, existing plants. Click the link below to tell President Obama and the EPA that you support climate pollution standards for all our power plants. Okay, so support climate pollution standards for all power plants and buy green power or air dryer laundry. In other words, don't just sit there. Don't just sit there. Don't just sit there. Do something. Wait, are we done talking about coal? I mean, there's still long wall and mountaintop removal mining and acid mine drainage. And that wraps up today's episode. Up next, the most common misconceptions we hear from people who accept the science about climate change. You'll wanna see this. You can follow the show on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, YouTube, iTunes, or on the web at djst.tv. So watch again and tell your friends. <laughs>